Today, I've got a fun number theory problem from a Chinese high school Olympiad. We want to determine all positive integers n such that 3 to the n plus n squared plus 2019 is a perfect square. An interesting problem, and it's a very nice number theory problem, and we'll go over various different techniques to solving this. Um, let me firstly investigate. That's normally my best advice for these sorts of problems. Just try some small values of n. So we've got 3 to the n plus n squared plus 2019. This is clearly going to be bigger than 2019. Um, you can probably also guess which year this, this problem's from. Um, 2025 is very famously a square number. It is 45 squared, so we could have some early contenders here. Let's try n is 1. Well, when n is 1, you get 2023. And if you try n is 2, uh, you're going to get 2032. So you're going to go from 2023 to 2032. So you kind of skip over 2025. So n is 1 and n is 2 don't work. And then you might ask, what's the next square number? Well, it would be 46 squared, which is 2,116. And so you can quite clearly see three won't work. Maybe four works. And in fact, if you try n is 4, you do get 46 squared. So I'm just going to write that down. So n is 4 gives us a solution. OK, cool. And we could keep trying if we wanted to and playing around with this. Um, but of course, there's got to be a point where we stop, because if we stop at 100, let's say, um, you know, we could keep going, but we want to know, well, are there any more? Um, and it turns out n is 4 is the only solution, and I'll prove that to you here. What we're going to do is consider this expression uh, various uh, mods. So we're going to start by looking at this mod 3. If I look at this mod 3, so from now on we can assume n is at least 5, um, because we've already dealt with 1, 2, 3, and 4. If n is at least 5, well, this thing here is definitely going to be a multiple of 3. That thing there, 2019, is also a multiple of 3, um, because 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 is 12 which is a multiple of three. So these two numbers are multiples of three. So if I call this k squared, because we want it to be a square number, uh, this tells me that k squared must be congruent to n squared mod three. And square numbers can either be zero or one mod three. Great. Okay, so three to the n, oh, sorry, k squared, whatever this square number is, is going to be zero or one mod three. Cool. Now let's look at this mod four. So we have three to the n, plus n squared plus 2019 equals k squared. Let's look at it mod 4. So k squared is going to be congruent to, well, 3 to the n, that's just minus 1 to the n, and then plus n squared, and then 2019, well, 2016 is a multiple of 4, so that would be just plus 3 mod 4. Okay, cool. And now if we stare at this and we just split this into odd and even cases for n, if n is odd, minus 1 to an odd number, that's minus 1, n squared, well, if n is odd, square numbers, or an odd number squared, mod 4 would just be 1, and then you get plus 3, and you get minus 1 plus 1 plus 3, which is 3. But then this suggests that k squared is 3 mod 4, which is impossible, because square numbers can only be 0 or 1 mod 4. So this tells us that n is even, and so if n is even, well, this thing here becomes 1, this is 0, this is 3, 1 plus 0 plus 3 is 4, which is the same as 0 mod 4, which also therefore implies that k is even. Okay, so n and k are even numbers. We're going to focus on the fact that n is even, though, and we're going to come back up to this expression, 3 to the n plus n squared plus 2019. And what we're going to do is show that for sufficiently large n, this number is sandwiched between two consecutive squares. So it's going to be a squared is less than 3 to the n plus n squared plus 2019 is less than a plus 1 squared. Uh, for, and we're going to try and find what this a has to be. And this, if we can show this, that means that this guy here cannot be a square. So this is another technique to solving certain number theory problems. Um, OK, so what could we choose for A? Now, you could think an early contender is N, but the thing is that won't really be that useful here because in this expression, 3 to the N is the thing that's causing this to grow most quickly. And so what we need to do is choose A to be based upon this 3 to the N. But conveniently here, we, we've just worked out that N is even. So what we could use is A equals 3 to the N over 2. So 3 to the n over 2 squared is, of course, just 3 to the n, which is definitely less than 3 to the n plus n squared plus 2019. And this turns out to be less than 3 to the n plus 2 times 3 to the n over 2 plus 1, whenever n is at least 14. And you can 
In other words, I'm just saying that this thing here is less than this thing here. And it should be obvious that this is true for sufficiently large n because this is an exponential, but this is only a quadratic. And exponentials eventually grow larger than quadratics. And you can just prove this by induction that this is true whenever n is bigger than 14. And then we have the, this thing here, 3 to the n plus 2 to the times 3 to the n over 2 plus 1. That just equals 3 to the n over 2 plus 1 squared. So whenever n is bigger than 14, this expression is sandwiched between two consecutive squares. And therefore, all we need to do is check the numbers 1 through 13. But we can actually reduce that list because, well, firstly, we've dealt with the first four cases, so we only need to deal with n at least 5. But we also know that n is an even number, which is either 0 or 1 mod 3. So um, we just need to test um, so 6, 7, uh, 9, 10, and then 12, 13. Um, those would be the only numbers we would need to test. And therefore, um, we can just test those one by one, plug them into this expression. I'll leave that for you to do. It's not super exciting, but you're going to uh, work out that none of those numbers are square. And so therefore, the only solution is N is 4.